You're the sound effects guy, man. Not me. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, well, what we were just discussing before we started the show <laughs> was... Uh, we haven't started the show yet. We well, can't start because you were going to do a... <laughs> I was going to do the Pepsi Max open uh, yeah. as far as the can. The whoosh, something like that. <laughs> but that sounds horrible. But you pre-crack your can. I know. I got thirsty. You got thirsty. You expect yeah. me to sit there and look at an ice cold can of Pepsi Max and yeah. not... Crack it open. Especially when it's 106 degrees outside. <laughs> yeah. Holy you high. smokes. Found a dead turkey. <laughs> From Bad Monkey Studios in beautiful Amish country, heard throughout these fabulous United States and around the globe on the World Wide Web, this is The B Team with Corey and Jim. I did. Trying to, you trying to get me to spit up this liquid gold right now? It's bad with you. No, man. It's bad with you. I thought there was a turkey. When I came to your, yes. when I came to the studio today. Oh man, it's making noises. Your chickens were making noises underneath the the porch. Yeah, I thought it was a turkey. Yeah, some of that going, yeah. some of that going on. They do. I don't know if that's like a warning cry before you get charged. Speaking of which, I'm a, I was almost charged by a. Goose today? Really? Yeah. At my place? No, 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 no. I dropped my kid off at uh, daycare. Okay. You know? And they have a, like a family of geese. It's like a learning thing for the kids, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, every if you know what geese do, they're fucking assholes, man. They're really protective. Super protective. So, yeah. and, and they just had like a, a gaggle of goose babies, but they're like full grown now. They're big. You know, they get big quick. So, like teenagers? Yeah. I don't know what you would they're call real them. fuzzy? No, not anymore. They've lost their fuzz? Feathered, man. They're feathered. They look like geese. You wouldn't be able to tell them they're young. Okay. But apparently the big one, the papa, I'm sure, uh, could be mama, I don't know. Uh, apparently I got a little too close, so it started hissing. And I knew it was going to because they were blocking the doorway. Yeah. So I was like, thank God I had <laughs> in my hand not only the carrier for yeah. my son, which I was like, that's going to take out a goose, no problem. Especially with like an 18-pound little seven-month-old in there. I'm knocking something out. Or, in my other hand, I had this little bag of stuff, you know, bottles and everything else. So, I kind of used that as my shield <laughs> slash bludgeoning tool. Yeah. I killed like three of them, so I'm going to eat pretty you, good no. this weekend. You can't. Is that illegal? Or can you kill? Well, now it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're not in season yet. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> as far as method of killing, I don't know. What season do you use on them? What season? Salt and pepper? A little salt oh, and pep. Yeah. A little salt and pep. Nice. Maybe some Old Bay. I don't know. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Frank's Red. I, I don't yeah. know. Whatever you're into, man. You know? Maybe some Sriracha. Some uh, Shorty Slams. <laughs> <laughs> shorty Slams. <laughs> butt Burner 2000. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do a commercial spicy. for them. but Yeah? Well. No, I'm not anymore. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. We're the B team. Um, That's right. We're back. Yeah, we vacay. Sorry about the law there. We only got a week. We only missed a week, didn't we? Something like that. Like a show. Two weeks. For show. Well, I mean. I like was for, gone for two weeks. So. For, for like oh, a but recording. We did put a show on, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. I, I think we only missed like a week of actual yeah. shows. Like putting one out, you know. Yeah. But yeah, um, I'll, I'll start with my journey. Yeah, what did you do? Well, as we mentioned before on yep. the show, I got, I got my second shot at glory. You did. With the Chudley Cannons. And you're wearing the Chudley Cannon shirt today. C squared, baby. C squared. Uh, that's what they called all the, you know, the Chudley Cannonites. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I went over there to... You landed in Surrey. Yeah, I, I, I drop in, you know. Uh, get I got all my stuff, all my gear, man. I'm ready to roll. Uh, um, I had a few days to kill before tryouts and all that stuff. But um, So I went back to the Ness. I didn't get a sighting this time <laughs> of Nessie. Uh, uh, to the lock, yeah. you know, but, uh, anyway, after I did that, came back, you know, came back to the hotel, got geared up a little fish and chips, you know, before the yeah. tryouts, it, it, but then a the pregame dump. I don't want to be too full, you know, uh-huh. but I got to have some energy. I, I have to back you up just a okay, little bit. Go fire away. Okay. You didn't give me a chance to get in there. I had my hand raised. You must not have uh, gone to school not, in the States. I didn't see it. I had my hand raised because I wanted to, to bring something up. Okay. Um, that you said you did not, you went to Scotland, did not have the sighting of Nessie this time. Right. So you went sober 
this time? No, no, no. no. I was sober the... last time. Uh, no, my story yeah. last time involved no drinking no. whatsoever. Okay. It was a lovely picnic. Hitting that pipe? No. <laughs> no. No, I don't indulge in crack cocaine, sir, nor methamphetamines or anything that you're going to hallucinate on. You've never tried the cocaine? No. Okay. The coca leaf, no. That's you chew on that? You know, you chew on that a little bit. But you got to brush afterwards because that, that'll do a number yeah, on man. these guys, oh, yeah. on your chicklets. <laughs> 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 Those dudes that chew that up, yep. man, they're, if they smile at you, look out. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so uh, I'm getting geared up, man. Day day of, you know, day of the tryouts. It's early. I think I think tryouts kicked off at like 9 o'clock that day. So you got some jet lag. Well. You're working with some jet lag, A too. little bit still, you know, because I was only there for, you know, a few days before yeah. uh, before the tryouts. So I'm dealing with a little bit of jet lag, but I, nothing too bad. You know, I'm mm-hmm. thinking I got this in the bag as far as me being ready to roll. Yeah. Uh, so I get there, get all my gear on, show up to the stadium, and I start. Well, you got they got the team there. They got the Chudley Cannons. All the all the boys are out there, you know, because they're going to help evaluate with the coaches, you know, the coaching staff, if you will. Right. So I start meeting some other dudes. Nigel. Yeah. Uh, with these these are guys that aren't on the team. They're also trying out. Oh. Jezzer. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Me and Jezzer, man. I'll tell you a separate story. Maybe not on air. Really? About some shenanigans. <laughs> you got <it> to- <laughs> yeah. a slap and tickle a in the little, shower. Well, you know. Yeah. Anywho. Snap and tap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Richard and William, uh, a couple guys that I met during my uh, during the tryouts. Uh, you know, you get kind of bond. You got to get a little, little group, if yeah. you will. Oh, yeah, you, you know? have to. Got to have your dudes, man. Yeah. Because they also, that was like our little practice team. Because they, they, you know, you do five on fives yeah. or Quidditch. And... Uh, so anyway, if anyone, if this is your first time listening, yeah, we should let, backtrack. I'm going to back up yeah. just a little bit for you. The Chudley Cannons, okay, world's most renowned Quidditch team, yes, is in fact a Quidditch team in the UK, right? That invited Corey because he, for some reason, is a celebrity among these fellas, amongst the Quidditchers. Yep. So he was invited officially. We got the letter, and he was invited officially to travel to the UK, right. try out for the for the cannons, get a workout at the very least, right. work out with them, Give me a meet look. some of the guys, yeah. shake the hands, kiss the babies, mm-hmm. milk the cows. Got a couple graphs while I was over there, yeah. you know, yeah. a few photos, yeah, maybe some jerseys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh huh. Is there a gifty coming my way? Well, Yay. I don't know. Christmas is coming. A ah. couple months down the road, but uh. nice. <laughs> but anyway, for yeah, if you're a new listener, that's what's going on. Yeah. with this conversation. So that's what Corey did during our break. And they don't know that I had previously tried out for the Cannons back in the when I was doing my Ness research. Uh, and the, the only American, I might break in, right. and the only American to ever be invited. And try out for the Chudley Cannons. Boom. Look it up. You can Wikipedia that. Y- yes. That's fact. Fact. Factoid. Anyway. So I'm with my group, you know, and we're doing pretty well because the tryout for the uh, for the team was about, it was a full day, essentially, but I mean, it's it was like a 12-hour day, nine to nine kind of thing. Um, and in that time, you know, they're assessing, they, it's kind of like, part of it's kind of like a combine day, you know, the NFL combine, people are familiar yeah. They, you know, they're doing some stats, testing height, broad jump, you know, sprinting speed, um, all that kind of stuff. But and that's not where I excel, okay? Not my no. physicality. Right. You know, as far as it just overall athleticism. Right. Where I, where I excel is. You're not going to be a snatcher. No. No. Or a, uh, sn- yeah. The snitch. Grabber. <laughs> what is that thing called? <laughs> yeah. Seeker. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, no, that's not my forte. That's not my, that's not yeah. my jam. If you will, um, I'm usually one of the, the enforcers. You know what I mean? I get out yeah. there, I give them the crazy eyes. You know, I try to stare them down. If somebody stares back and locks eyes, then mm-hmm. I know it's on. But there's nothing wrong if you do, even as an enforcer. If you grab a snatch, uh, well, I, hold, let me you're tell you fine. Something. No, I can't you, grab the snitch. I'll grab a oh, snatch. Yeah, I'll snatch. Because this yeah. uh, Quidditch, most people don't know this is is a what do, what do you want to call it? A bisexual? <laughs> no, that's not right. Uh, Unis, no. Quintessential? No. Male, males and females can, can play together. 
a co coedical. There it is. Mm-hmm. Coed. Okay. Boom. It's codicious. Doom. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, apart from the snatch grabbing, uh, the second half of the day, or like some other stuff, is they start putting you through some drills, and then you do five on five. So I got my team, and we're getting ready to go. And and for the most most part, we were doing real well. Had a lot of strung strung together, a lot of W's, you know. And there was another team. Uh, full of some dudes that were doing pretty good too. So we knew eventually we were going to lock horns. Ah, you know, yeah. one of those things, kind of a showdown. And and as far as I know, I wasn't given all the details, but there's only a couple spots opening up on the cannons. Okay, so well, yeah, know. Ridley. He's he has uh, <coughs> he is going to or has already retired. Uh, everybody believes the announcement is coming at the, by the end of at least uh, July. If I'm not mistaken, okay. or early August, and, but that's what everybody's will think. And Furlip, Furlip, Furlip is coming off that big injury. Wait, it just went down. Last year, just went down. They, they don't know. Just had the surgery. Doesn't know okay. if he's coming back or okay. when. When the time frame is, so they need bodies. Just a few though. But it was season ending last year. Last yeah. year. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Devastating. I mm. mean, some knee injury. I didn't delve too far no. into it, but. No, you don't care. That's right, because I'm I'm trying to make the team. Exactly. You know what? If you can't stay healthy, that's on you. Mm-hmm. Okay, you yeah. fucked up there. Yeah, that's should have rubbed some baby oil on that or something. I don't know. Some yeah. emu oil. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> you ever heard that commercial? You and Terry Bradshaw <laughs> rubbing stuff. No. Emu snot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So I was all emued up, man. I'm ready. I'm yeah. loose. You know, we was, I was spending all day. I knew the showdown was coming. So yeah. it was. It was like it was like basically every sports movie you ever seen in your life. You know, the, the, we were the going in. All the coaching staff, all the players thought we were the underdogs. You know, the other yeah. guys were a little bit more looked a little bit better, a little cleaner than we did. So we get in there, and they they kind of broke it down a little bit by normally you don't do this with a Quidditch. You know, as far as time length of halves or anything like that. Right. But for us, for, for purposes of uh, evaluation, if you will, uh, we had two kind of 10-minute chunks to uh, play, right? Well, there's broom time. You got to get your right. broom time right. in, you know. and then there's time just running without the broom, right? Right. So so anyway, first 10 minutes goes by of, of our little match, and uh, things are pretty tight, neck and neck. Um, we had one of the players kind of was our coach, if you will. Okay. And so it, typically, you know, you get the halftime, the rally speech. So we got a good one. By the time our coach was done giving us our uh, little speech, yeah. uh, everybody, me, especially Jezzer, dude was yeah. ready to rip somebody's throat out. Yeah. Uh, we thought we we're going to come out just firing and uh, and just destroy, you know. Wow. So <clears throat> wow. We, take off, we, we take off to an early lead. Mel Gibson or Liam Neeson type speech. Neeson, Neeson, because we. I mean, he didn't get into yeah. any of the racist stuff. No, uh, from no. Gibson. No, okay. no, none of the sugar tits. <laughs> no, no, none of that. No. So, <laughs> so anyway, which is another guy that happens to be on your team, which is funny. Right, it's funny right. you well, say that. Listen, I don't want to yeah. offend anybody, but yeah, yeah, there was a guy. No, his his name, his, our his keeper, real which name was Sugar Tits. Yeah. I mean, that's a nickname, but because his real last name is Slip Tit, right? And he's a sweet guy, so I think that's sure. that's where the connection All happens. The you know what I mean? That's where the sugar comes in. So anyway, yeah. So we we come out, we jump out to an early lead. We got five minutes left. I'm thinking this thing's in the bag. Um, because kind of how they how they uh, swung it was whatever team wins, that's kind of the the group if you will, that they're going to maybe look at a little bit more mm. for the players to come on the team, you know. Okay, so, so it wasn't just the combine <coughs> portion. You had to do the combine portion, and then you had to right, perform. perform. Like, yeah, you had to play. In the, in the match. Uh, you know, got to run some stuff, run okay. run their playbook, if you will, see yeah. how well you can kind of uh, – and, and you weren't given any materials up front. So that it was kind of like learning on the fly, if you will. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're familiar with terms, yeah. but you don't know their own – or their all – Individual place, the local, right, 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 place. Yeah. So we come out firing. We got about five minutes left. We have a, we have a uh, decent lead. It's not anything that's insurmountable or anything like that. Then Nigel gets injured. Oh, okay, Nigel goes down. So we got to play short. So we we try to play defensive. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. We're 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 doing the best we can. Long story short, we got blown out by forty. <laughs> so me and me and uh me, Sugar Tits, Jazz and the boys, you know, uh, needless to say, we didn't make the cannons. Uh, we were pretty broken up about it. But we, we made up for it later when we hit the pubs up. And this is the first I'm hearing of this because you you wouldn't tell me. I kept yeah. asking. You wouldn't tell me. Well, there and, was nothing and it's kind of depressing, you know, when I think about it. I get my shot again, and I feel like I feel like if Nigel hadn't went down, we'd have, we'd have probably won. And then, but and your personal I mean, performance was less than stellar. Was oh, okay. what most of the guys okay. were saying. Yeah. Nothing. I mean, I didn't have high marks pretty much anywhere except for intensity. Yeah, but that's because I assaulted one of the water boys who called me a Nancy. So, uh, I mean, yeah. I think they like that aspect of it, but as far as Quidditch talent, they're like, there's really not much here that we're going to okay. do for you. I think I was just carried by the rest of the team. Right. More so than anything. But well, I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's okay. That was, I, you know what? They're, they're dreams. You have dreams for a reason. Sometimes you get there and you reach them. Sometimes you don't. Yeah. You know? But at least you, you got to try. You know, you basically right. you were nominated for the no, Oscar. Sure. Yeah. I was yeah. the dude, you always know, the guy that's not going to win the Oscar okay. is always the first one that they read off, generally, right? Yeah. And he, and he always the first one they show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're like, oh, Morgan yeah. Freeman. You know always. what? <laughs> first and that dude should be, he should have a wall lined with yeah. Oscars just for his voice, man. Yeah. They should just have a separate category. I know. Best voice in a movie. But yeah. he'd sweep it every time. Yep. Anywho. So, yeah, man, we didn't. We you know didn't, who uh, wouldn't get that? I, well, several people. Adam Nick, Sandler. Nick Cage. Adam Sandler. Sandler yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He wouldn't get it. There's That's a lot of it. people. I'm mad at him today. So Why? What, no, did, nothing. what in the F did Sa- Adam Sandler do to you now? Nothing. All right. We don't have. I mean, different, yeah. That's for a different show. Different podcast. Yeah. Okay. But I'm enough, sorry to hear. You know what? You though? No, it was a lovely cannons. trip. Lovely trip. Yeah. I got some I got some good swag out of cool. it. Um didn't get didn't get my Nessie sighting like I thought I was gonna. Yeah. Uh brought my fresh mackerel bait, threw that out there, chumming it up a little bit like the shark hunters do. Yeah. You gotta chum that water. You can expect to see anything. Uh and uh just wasn't my time. But I'll go back. What know. does Nessie eat? Anything, man. Yeah. Human beings too. It's oh, like no, nah, she's not she's not a human humanitarian. Uh, <laughs> no, she's, she's not. not a humanitarian. No, uh, by any means. But uh, yeah, yeah, mostly the fish. You know, I, I think mackerel for me is the mm-hmm. is the go to. That's generally where. And that took your full the this took your full two week break, or did you? Oh well, no. Come back uh, well, after else? the initial depression, yeah, to finish up the first week. Yeah, did some sightseeing. Um, which I've been over to the UK a couple times. Yes. So, you yep. know, you got your local haunts that I, you know, old, old buddies. Right. That you see. Right. Um, but I also, there's some stuff I haven't caught just, just due to time sightseeing. Pub Parliament. Crawl? Well, I mean, you know, listen, listen. Pub crawl, baby. <laughs> That's a little bit different though. Pub crawling over there mm-hmm. versus the States. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. yep. So. Because there's nothing 12 ounce there. No. Or 5% alcohol. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, let's just say I had to dodge a couple bobbies. Yeah. That night. Whoops. You know what I mean? Whoops. Just saying, that's all I'm going to say. Were you in your cannons gear? Well. With your yoga pants? Par, part of the time. <laughs> you said you were going to pack some yoga pants. Part, part, I mean, you, you got to stay sleek when yeah. you're out there, okay? And let me tell you something. If you don't have Crisco on hand, you're yeah. gonna need a buffer when you are hitting that hood slide. See, I otherwise your cheeks gonna catch and you're gonna trip and fall. When we saw you and Maddie before you left for the airport, I was I asked Hannah. I said I should have asked him why he shaved his head because I thought and she thought it was just your summer haircut. She's like, well, he probably just did it for the summer for the heat. But right. I know now it's an aerodynamic thing. Speed with yeah, you got low. You got it's like a swimmer. It is. You know they shave the whole body. Yeah, that's why you don't get tattoos. That's right. why you refuse to get tattoos. Just just brands. Yeah. Just brands. That's all yeah. I get. Yeah, burns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just burn my skin up. Sure. Well, uh, I, um, for two weeks, I mowed about 11 times in two weeks. Uh, and, and as you know, Hefty the, rainfall the uh, studio States. is uh, adjacent to and on the same property of my 
uh, my residence. Yeah. So we had cleaning week. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Do you think that was my idea? No. No? Uh-huh. Um, okay. You're, you're pretty sharp. <laughs> <laughs> no. So there was so there was cleaning uh-huh. being done on the vacay. Yeah. So, so let's your see. vacation kind of sucked. Hmm. There were a ton of naps, though. I know. A I was ton ask, of naps. I was going to ask you how your hibernation went because every yeah. every time I had contact yeah. with you, you had just gotten up. Yeah. Or you were going back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, That's damn, it. man. Yep. That's Living that dream, but you're you're more of a you're more of a winter guy, you know. You, you uh, hibernate. That's when I come summer, alive. You know what that's I mean? When I yeah. That's alive. when you just uh, yeah. <laughs> shake off the summer and get out there. I do. Get after it. I do. Ice well, fishing. Unfortunately, for the listener, yeah, we got to take a quick break. But when we come back, we're going to have a little bit of a. a do new. we tease it? Do we tease it a little? bit? Well, we'll tease it like this. Do we it, tickle it? It's tickle. a new. It's a new thing. We're tickling in the tank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we're, we're gonna see how it goes. All right, and then we'll let we'll let people know. We'll let people know. Okay, they'll, they'll hear it. You're gonna All hear right, it. and with that, we'll be right back. Hey, B teamers, this is Jim, letting you know that our quality all cotton pre shrunk tagless tea is now available in our store. From the beach to the boardroom, nothing says, hey, look at me, I'm adequate, like a B-team with Corey and Jim t-shirt. So go to point19productions.com and get you some. O'Brien Medicine. When you care about people, you create relationships, trust, and loyalty that no amount of money can buy. When you care about people, you are truly making a difference in their lives. Better health and wellness through medical and alternative treatments makes our patients' lives better. O'Brien Medicine, offering same-day appointments and flexible scheduling to meet your needs. O'Brien Medicine, tailored treatment options including nutrition, exercise, and medical interventions. Find out more at O'BrienMedicine.com or call 614-344-7601. O'Brien Medicine, home of the same day appointment. And we're back on the phone. Yes. With us is a popular guest of the show, Billy G. World renowned Bill G. How you doing, Bill? What's going on, fellas? Hey, Not thanks good. for having me, man. Good to hear you. Well, Not I got much going on today in my world. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, I, I was telling Corey you sounded a little miffed when I uh, initially called you. What's happening? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good, man. You know, the laws of ph- physics got challenged today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho right now, sitting at uh, the Happy Boyington field airport and boy am i overdressed (laughs) why why are you at a an airfield in idaho pappy we call it the pappy why am i at the pappy (laughs) named after a a, a detective wasn't he a detective (laughs) wasn't pappy boynton a detective gumshoe his name is gumshoe pappy boynton Got himself an airfield. I'm out here. What's going on? Uh, because a trip from Seattle to the Buckeye State, okay, which was supposed to go smoothly, mm-hmm. uh, we ended up uh, having to land here uh, because of a uh, air emergency. Actually, it had an came out. Terrorists. <laughs> Unfortunately not. I wish I could say it was. That way, you know, I could go national. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What did you get into? Okay, so everything's going fine, man. We're, we're at 37,000 feet. Everything's nice and smooth. I didn't even know anything had happened until the, uh, the chick comes back and she tells me, she said, uh, you know, we got something going on. We're going to have to divert and uh, land. So uh, she wasn't even 
positive. She just knew that there was something technical going on. So uh, we got landed, and uh, the first officer comes back, and he's uh, he tells me that we had a flame out, mm. and they weren't sure what the issue was. So all four of us uh, went out, uh, the, the captain, the first officer, the uh, checked the hands of the stewardess. Uh, we went out. We looking all around, went back to where the engine was, and there's uh, now this is before you, damage. This is before you landed? No, we were landed. We oh, were on, okay. We were, we were at the Pappy. Gotcha. And, <laughs> at so the Pap. They knew exactly, of course, what was going on. Yeah. They went back to the engine, and gotcha. there was really, really bad, heavy smoke damage. Um, and uh, the, the, due to the excess uh, carbon and all that, all that buildup and caused everything to see. So that engine is completely gone now. Ooh. And, uh, so this this is the surreal part of it. This is like when you get to the point in life that I'm at, where you think you've seen everything. Yeah. We're, we're standing there, you know, just looking at the, at the engine, the, the, the captain, first officer, they're talking. And uh, the stewardess, she goes, what, look at that. What's that? And you see something moving. It looks like a little piece of charcoal <laughs> that was rolling out the back real <laughs> slow. So I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm like, what? What's going on? And um, it's a, it ends up being a little tiny bird. It, it's uh, here. It's, somebody told me it's a northern water thrush. <laughs> no. So okay. Beautiful creatures. They, yeah. they, they believe yeah. that. Now, they've got everything taken apart now. They've got the engine completely taken apart. So they didn't find any feathers or blood or guts or anything like that. But they do believe it was a bird strike. But here's the crazy thing. They think that this little dude that come walking out is the one that caused it. So how would a little bird like that live through a jet engine? I, I don't know yet. I, I, I don't know yet. But he, he's the guy. Unbelievable. So, so in other words, what I'm telling you is that a seven ounce northern water thrush <laughs> just took out a 15 ton jet. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's where we're at right now. And and I've got him. I said uh, I don't know if, if you got it, but I sent you the uh, the pic of the dude. That's it. That's him. That's me. Okay. Now is now is he claiming ISIS on this? <laughs> he has. He, he, he's not talking. And he, but I'll tell you, he's just acting strange. Yeah. yeah, a little twitchy, huh? Yeah, I bet. He's going to be calling I've checked, in coordinates. I've, I've checked underneath the, the feathers to see if he's strapped. <laughs> uh, not too sure what's... I'm, I've been feeding him oatmeal raisin cookies all morning, so... Well, listen, I've, man. I've, 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 I've named him Steve Knievel. <laughs> 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 but uh the, yeah this this place around here of course i've got my john taylor pinstripe on and uh everybody else is, is looks like they're ready to work in the garden yeah did and you grab uh we got, we, they have a uh, so i got this bird i'm holding on to it they've got an airedale dog that's walking around he keeps coming over and sniffing the bird he's not too sure what's going on so that's my story so fellas i'm out here in Coeur d'Alene. Uh, broke down, and uh, just sorry I couldn't make it there. I was looking forward to getting in for the show today, but I appreciate you having me. Yeah, happy to. No, no problem. We're just glad you're okay. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, man. Thanks, thanks. That's, I, you know, I'm, I'm very happy about that as well, but it was just so odd because, of course, you know, we have two engines on that. We uh, run the uh, Honeywell turbo fans, and we have two of them on there, and the one... Uh, you know, has a flame out, but it, it we were completely smooth. We, you know, we didn't lose any altitude that we didn't want to lose. Everything stayed nice and you know, nice and tight. And so, what color's the carpet in that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, listen, <laughs> we're we're super happy that you're okay, and. Thank you. uh uh, it sounds like you're still jacked up from it. I would be too, man. You know, one of those near miss kind of things. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I was in a, a long time ago in an aircraft. I was in a flat spin, so I I know about um, the, your starfish puckering a little bit. Oh, so, absolutely. But, uh, yeah, Corey, yeah. Corey was just telling us we were talking about our break. As you know, we've been on vacay, uh, taking a right, break. Yes, and uh, Corey, I just found out today uh, was unsuccessful in his bid to make the um, Chudley Cannons. 
Oh, so we're li- yeah. Sorry, Corey. That's all right. We're sad about that. And but I'm happy to announce, and uh, hopefully I can stop this little uh, uh, throat ripping thing that you and Corey have with each other. He is not. He has not, and does not plan to sign with Sirius Radio oh, at this time. Okay. So, all yeah. Right. Now he's wearing a Sirius ball cap. Putting the rumors to rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he wanted me to put that rumor to rest with you about the uh, Sirius Radio. So. Okay, we've, so we've, that's not happening. That is not happening. No. Okay, so uh, you remember the last show we did from the Freckle, right? From the Freckle Pigeon? Yep. You and I, and yep. you, we were doing the 20 questions, and yep. you asked me, you know, you said Jim or Corey, and I went ahead and said Jim. Oh, so, yeah, that, yeah. That And that's, you know what, that's because you were the one that was sitting there across from oh, me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you were. You're a fence rider like the rest of us. You ride the fence. Yeah, you're the Who one that's seen? giving me, you know, free Guinness and yeah. Pepsi Max yes. and pizza and yeah. everything else under the sun. And yeah. C-Mac wasn't there. But, <laughs> C-Mac. Uh, you know, if Corey was the one that was there, I would have said Corey. Yeah. And now, I, I, I will also say this. If he were to go ahead and sign the deal with those other fellas, yeah. Uh, whether Jim is sitting across from me or not, Corey would be my pick. <laughs> ah, every time, nice. Nice. every time, up, Jim or Corey, I would say Corey. But you would understand Jim exactly why. Well, understand, not care, kind of the, in the <laughs> same uh, ball field on this one. But uh, yeah, also uh, something uh, I, I want I I want you two to bury the hatchet because we need to get along in the um you know bad monkey family here okay uh, so All right. yeah this whole issue when he called you retarded because <laughs> whoa, you compared whoa, 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 whoa. Gallagher no, to no. Carlin you put words you in remember, my mouth do you remember that yeah we also yeah we talked yeah and yeah, we talked about that at the too. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. When he I called, remember all this bullshit. <laughs> when, I, when he called you stupid? Do you remember? Yeah, that? yeah. I know. About the, now. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, guys. Hold on. All right, I'm okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> don't be stupid. No, I did He's just, he's putting words no, in my mouth. He did, he did not call you stupid. I heard him say, did you hear what that fat motherfucker <laughs> 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 well, well, yeah. I mean, he admits that. Sure, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> dude, I didn't. I haven't felt at all that me and Corey have anything going back and forth. We don't need to bury nothing. Believe me, the uh, brutalization that I went through uh, from from these bastards on Twitter and on Facebook for saying what I did. So what, what was it exactly? What was the quote that I, it was, um, I, I compared Carlin to Gallagher. I said that, uh, yeah. Carlin was Gallagher without the sledgehammer. Yes. That yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. it. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, I got hammered, dude. I got hammered. A lot of haters on. Twitter. Not just like, not just by Corey. What? No, I, I, that absolutely was not meant to be an insult. I know it sounded like it, and it sounds like I'm not telling the truth right now. And I'm, you know, backpedaling a bit, but that is that is not the case at all. Um, I would swear on every word you've said since you've been on this phone. I would testify <laughs> right. to it. But no, but Jim, I mean, you can attest to this. Now, now the people and uh, you know, the Corey's age, the people, you know, 27, 20, late 20s. Millennials. Whatever, they pro- yeah, they they probably remember and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, Corey, but you guys kind of look at Gallagher as like the fairground type guy, you yeah, know, yes. quirky yes. type of dude. But back in the 80s, um, Gallagher was a major player. He, he was a huge show. And as a matter of fact, he's mm-hmm. one of three guys that actually got the Showtime Network up and running and made it as big as what it is today. Um, wow. There was a guy named John Biner. He had a show on there, and he featured Super Dave Osborne, and that show blew up huge. So John Biner and Super Dave, you know, as a pair with that John Biner show, they made Showtime really big. And then they had Evander Holyfield, the fighter, who was uh, Showtime was his sole sponsor. 
So every fight he had, all the promotions, everything, he he was a, a huge boxer at the time. Yeah. And uh, then Gallagher, and you know they they would try probably two or three times a year to have hour and a half um, specials on for Gallagher. And when he came out, everything was very Carlin-esque. It was, you know, he was uh, he was really bright with everything that he said. It made you think. It was very uh, political and cultural based. And I didn't, I absolutely did not mean that as a slight, but I can see where all the 500 people that sent me <laughs> texts and messages, they took offense to it. But that's not at all what I meant by it. So... Um, that's just what I want to say about that. Okay, man, we're back. We had to run upstairs and get something to drink real quick, um, Bill. Now, what were we talking about? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I ate both of them. Uh, and you uh, bastards. Man, I'm, about to, I'm about to throw this goddamn bird all the way over to Cinnabon. <laughs> Like you ain't sitting in Cinnabon right now. <laughs> I am Cinnabon right now. <laughs> oh, man, we're just messing a little bit. <laughs> so so that's all clear. So any any questions on that? Because uh, I mean, your grandfather probably watched Carlin and probably has an appreciation. Yeah, uh, the only thing that I need to, uh, to say there is that uh, I'm going to have to reject your apology, uh, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> so so what are they doing man is is the plane inside is it what are they doing yeah, while you're not, sitting it's not yeah it's not going anywhere until they get that engine replaced and then um of course they you know they have to come in inspect it make sure everything's good to go and um i actually think that once they get all that tightened up then they have to do uh do like you know they're going to do like a test flight make everything sure everything's cool and then uh, hopefully i'm good to go that's all i know right now Fuckers. so you <laughs> <laughs> wise crackers so you're just gonna sit uh sit in, inside there is you got is it a nice lounge what is it, it what do you got there in the pappy in uh yeah the pappy's good it's kind of um, like where i'm at it's it's you know nice air condition oh okay um, well, I'm sure they got you in a VIP area, right? Yeah, but I can look out. I can see everything. They have these gigantic, humongous uh, bay windows here. I'm looking out. Uh, I'm looking outside into the, uh, the hangar and the planes are and stuff. And I, I can't see my plane, but um, they have it back in another area. How'd the Seattle show go? Uh, well, yeah, good, man. Nice, nice night. Had a great time. Um, uh, no complaints at all. Seattle, Seattle, Seattle's beautiful. I've never been there. It sounds. Is there a lot of rain? Was there a lot of rain there? I hear there's like a yeah, ton it of rained rain. a lot while I was there. It rained. I, I was there for four days and it rained like three and a half out of the. Ah, no kidding. That's rough. Um, yeah, they had they had a pretty good weather system that came through and uh, it, it poured like for that three and a half days and then it was just gone and when um, we took off. Earlier this morning, it was uh, really it was nice, clear, and well, that's good. Anything. That's good. So, what was uh, how was uh, Dice or Andrew Dice Clay as we know him? Did you get to meet up with him? Fantastic. He's Dice. He's he's back. You know, he's uh, he went away for a while, gained gained a bunch of weight. Everybody forgot about him, but he's he's the he's the old Dice man. He's, oh yeah. He's been for the last couple of years now, so. 
Are you, you familiar with the dice, man? Um, the name? Yeah. I, I, I was. What you Ford saying? Fairlane, baby. <laughs> One of the most underrated movies on this planet. Ford? Ford Fairlane. Hmm. That was his name. <laughs> Rock and roll detective. Yep. Unbelievable, uh, man. I'm Make not, me some hay. Dude, no, no, dude, what, lo- with this, he woke up with this chick beside him. He didn't even know her, didn't know her name or anything. He's just like, she's mad at him because I, I think because he didn't show her any respect or whatever. So she slaps him or gets up out of the bed or something. He says, hey, can you do some of those dishes before you take off? <laughs> that, was just, that was the best. <laughs> Dude, I just looked up. I just looked. Dude, I just looked up a photo of him, and he looks like a yeah older version of Vin Diesel. Yeah, like but with hair. No, dude, back in the day, back in the day, he was a uh, he was a good looking fellow. I think he still is. Get, Vin yeah, Diesel's a good looking dude, huh? I said Vin, Vin Diesel looks great. Yeah, look at look, yeah. if you look up a yes. photo. Are you wearing pants? Well, sh- shorts. Why? Corey, can you see his hands? <laughs> Hang on. Well, the one. Why? His left hand. Is he a right? You're a righty, aren't you, Jim? Uh, come on, <laughs> man. Don't don't pull me into this. Get it? Pull me? Boom. You're pulling pull me. Cut you off. You're, you're pulling how, yourself. How those guys were. Tell, tell us how, how cute other actors are. <laughs> 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 Well, you were just telling me last time we had uh, dinner together, you were telling me that you had beard envy of a couple guys. Uh, and <laughs> Yeah, I definitely don't have the penis envy. We talked no, about that. No. I was oh, no, not when, you're, that not when you're swinging that Louisville. Sure. The word elephantitis has but, been uh, thrown around on several occasions. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. Are you talking to me? Dude, are you having? Are, are they providing you with cocktails? I'm a goddamn crash. <laughs> he just I don't had know. a crash. What's going on? What? <laughs> Which one's pink? Are they? <laughs> are they plying you with uh, cocktails? Yes. What are they? What are they? Uh, what you suck it on? What do they? What do they have there at the yeah, airport? You get your pap uh, smear. You always, no, it's Guinness with him. It's always well, Guinness. I, you, I hear that the, they make a thing called a pap smear for the pappy. <laughs> I hear it's supposed to be excellent. Yeah, yeah. You know? they have the famous pap smear here. Yeah, I heard there's. I heard they're delicious. I've never Pappy's, had one. Pappy's gondola. That's what. It, that's what it is. So I'm having. Uh, I'm sharing with little Steve Knievel. We're yeah. having um, uh, oatmeal with raisin cookies and Guinness. Do, do not, do not bring that bird back to my house <laughs> just because I have a farm. Because this has been done before where animals have been found or trapped or whatever by certain people uh, and delivered to my house. And I've been asked to keep them Ugh. and care for them until they're healthy to release. And then my kids fall in love All right. and we got them forever. You're kind of a doctor. Yeah, I don't know how that around. works. I, I, he's going to be staying here in Idaho. I don't know. I think he's they frown gonna... on you taking things across state line. No. And, um, so <laughs> he's going to be staying here. I don't want to mess up his cycles because who knows <laughs> when he might want to migrate and go somewhere. And <laughs> he'll be, he's already messed up enough. I can't get. He's. I don't. I don't think anything's broken on him. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's just like walking around. I've been holding him in my hand. He'll. I'll let him down. He walks around. He seems fine. He's just. He's got uh, carbon all over him. He's all black. That's his only problem is that he's all black. Racist. But um, he, he, uh, yeah, he's just bouncing around here. He's fine. But I'm not taking him. I'm leaving him here. But I don't know why. We can't figure out why he's not flying away. He's probably too heavy because he's got five pounds of black dust all over him. Wow. Say black two more times. <laughs> Adolf. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Were you on your way to a to a meeting? <laughs> huh? Just. Well, listen, oh. hey, Willie, uh, we got a choice here. If It sounds okay. like you got a little bit of time at, on your hands and uh, probably a wallet full of ones from the places you visit. Uh, uh-huh. So you, you can buy yourself some, some cocktails and sit back. If you got enough juice on your phone, uh, if you want to stay with yeah. us, or we can say uh, see you later or however you want to handle it. 
whatever you want to do. I'm, We'd I'm like here. to keep you with us. Be our be our third wheel, as it were, while we. Uh, sure, man. Oh, we're, we're, we're going to go through, um, let's see, just a little got bit of factoids. Facts. We got so, factoids. And they're good. Uh, learning doesn't always have to be lame. We have a few totally cool facts that also happen to be pretty funny. Boom. How'd you like that? Boom. That was, that was what they call a pregnant pause. That was super pregnant. I learned pregnant. that in my voiceover academy. That was pregnant with twins. Mm-hmm. So these, these, Bill, these are true facts. These are facts that happen to also be funny. Okay? Okay. So this is a psychological fact. If you whip your head back and forth, you'll lose 24 brain cells per whip. Good use of that H. Thank you. What? Wow. Yeah. I got, I got one. I want to read this one because this one's awesome. Uh, Alexander Graham Bell. Everybody knows or should know. The inventor of the telephone. Never <laughs> never called his wife or mother because they were both deaf. Fact. Fact. Human tons- <laughs> yep. Human tonsils can bounce higher than a rubber ball. Of similar weight and size, but only for the first 30 minutes after they've been removed. Fact. That's what they should give to kids instead of, like, ice cream, you know, for that first half hour. Human tonsils? Bounce, bounce their own tonsils. Bounce these around for a bit. Oh, my God. <laughs> be awesome. Uh, here's one. Here's one here. You forgot to say fact. Well, no, you said that. Oh. Safe is... Uh, wow. Well, safe. What is it? Sex <laughs> is the safest tranquilizer in the world it's 10 times more effective than valium 10x 10x more effective than valium unbelievable because that's all you want to do is go to sleep bill do you want to read one (laughs) no (laughs) okay on average a man has up to 10 erections during his sleep now that's average. I've had ten during this show. That's average. Yeah, I'm gonna say. So, me, I'm 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 floating right in the thirties, yeah. usually. <laughs> of of the evening. Oh, yeah, per evening. That's not yeah. day. I don't no. even want to break that down. That's what keeps me from falling out of bed. Yeah, fact. <laughs> uh, this, this photo is awesome. I wish we could show this to people. It's two donkeys fighting. Oh man! Uh, but <laughs> the fact is, more people are killed by donkeys annually than are killed in plane crashes. And that's relevant to this show. How do you feel, how do you feel about that, Bill? Thank God they weren't that trans... That is crazy, yo! <laughs> you you could have got killed by a donkey or crashed in a plane. Thank God they weren't transporting oh, donkey. donkeys. I thought you said a honky. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. It is insane. Who knew? Before the eraser... Bread was used to remove pencil marks. What? What? I don't believe that. I don't believe it. That sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me. No, these are factoids. That's true. These are facts. That means they have to be right. From the internet. So that means they're right. What have you ever been lied to by the internet? Never. That is cool, Brad. All right, let's see. This one here, and this is, this can't be a fact. No way. This is a fact. If you put Saturn, the planet... Mm-hmm. Which is larger than the Earth. Mm-hmm. In water, it would float. Fact. There's no way. Fact. That sounds stupid. <clears throat> Having blue eyes is actually a mutation. Before the mutation occurred, all humans had brown eyes. Fact. All right, well, let me let me ask you something. How the hell did gingers happen? What's that all about? Huh? Th- that's evil. <laughs> Satan happened. <laughs> And then gingers. And then, Aww. Aww. My sister's a ginger. <laughs> and I love her. She's the nicest lady on the planet. Well, sure. Sure. Uh, let's see. Here's I like a... ginger from um... Gilligan's oh, Island. Oh, yeah. She was pretty neat. Yeah. Well, the, the, my theory on gingers <laughs> is... is <laughs> <laughs> my theory on gingers is this. They're either smoking hot yeah. or train wreck ugly. Yeah. It, there's, not, there's not a happy medium in there. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So I'm sure your sister's a lovely human being. She is. She I've not met exactly her. Exactly like me. I've not met her. But with red hair. So, so, so super <laughs> so super hot? Yes. Okay. All right. Fact. If, if you add together all the numbers 
on a roulette wheel, i.e. 1 to 36, the total is the mystical number 666. I am saying, I am saying. <laughs> now I'm never playing roulette again. No, me neither. Ever. Here's one, Bill. I out. Roulette out. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, I guarantee what? you, you didn't know this one. No. Nope. Google was originally named Backrub. Boom. Oh. I don't no, know. Boom. That doesn't... Not. Good thing they changed it. Yeah. Yeah. Because that. Backrub.com. Nope. That wouldn't have took off, I don't think, as much as no. Google. Yeah. Well, tr- pull up Backrub.com right now. Yeah. See what you get. You're going to get a whole yeah. bunch of TJs. <laughs> yeah. Or tug jobs. That's what. <laughs> That's what you're going to find. <laughs> Fact. All right. Karate mm. actually originated in India, but was further developed in China. Fact. In Alaska, it is illegal to look at a moose from a flying vehicle. Fact. You can't look at it? What did I just say? <laughs> in Alaska... It is illegal to look at a moose from a flying vehicle. The next time I am there, I'm going to wear sunglasses and I'm going to glance over at it. I'm going to keep my head straight. That's right. Then they, there's no way. Glasses on. There's no way they can tell then. If you can keep that piece of crap flying in the air long enough to look down at it, uh, what are you in? You still you you still have that Legacy 500? I do. That's the one that's getting worked on. That's what I was on. Yep. Nice. The newbie. All right, and Corey is going to bring us our final fact. Orange juice is actually yellow, not orange, which I don't agree Whoa. with that at all. Whoa. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. You take you you take a glass of orange juice, set it beside a stick of butter? No. Nope. It's like a, it's like a stick of butter and an orange had a baby. I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. Huh? Well, they would call it um... Okay. I, this, this is why I know that's bull. Here he goes. Because it is called orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not look, yellow juice. Look it up. Not yellow juice. Yellow that would juice. that would offend our friends in the east. Don't even, don't take it to racist town. Well, Bill was. Bill I started know he a started. Theme. He did. He started a with theme. all the blackbirds and all that. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't stop. Uh, I have to tell you something stupid. I did. Like what? I uh, printed up at home. I printed up emails. Oh, yeah? But didn't bring them to the studio. Oh! (laughs) One. Amateur! (laughs) One of them had to do with a complaint about one of our t-shirts. Okay. Yeah. About how it was too awesome? I think that might have been it. Or fit too well? And then one of them had to do with cars. The way we the way we drive, reckless. I, I don't remember. Usually reckless. Yeah, and way too fast. We're gonna go ahead and answer we'll emails just, that we think might yeah. have been emails. These are guesses. Okay. Yeah, these are guesses. Um, right. From Freckle Fart Ninety <laughs> <laughs> at Gmail <laughs> Um, one had to do with uh, animals. I don't remember. It was more more about your squatch hunting. Harembe. Crapple. They 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 want us to get a group together and go I would out love to Seattle. To. Speaking would, of Seattle, yeah. out to Seattle to to TTT Tech. It's prime squatch country right there. And and do a you would really do that. I absolutely would. Me, yeah. you, I don't know, Bill, would you be in, interested? One hundred percent. Absolutely. Okay. The absolutely. three of us and like eight to ten complete strangers well interns who believe in sasquatch uh 18 to 21 year old females uh brazilian heritage yeah that's going to be a requirement yeah. um and that's not that's it. Uh, yep that's exactly where my mind went scientific that's, that's just saying. you know what i mean that's the squatch okay. typically there's more mm-hmm. encounters with brazilian people for some reason i don't know that's not that's not me saying that that's ttt tech <laughs> Uh, statisticians coming at you. Okay. <laughs> Willie, we got a couple more minutes uh, before we have to shut this thing down. You, anything you're pushing, selling, plugging? You, you plug, you, you're going to push that Legacy 500? <laughs> Am I going to see that on Craigslist? 
Yep. You might. <laughs> you might. <laughs> it's gone, and uh, along with a bird. And if this dog doesn't get away from me. A dog. And but no. Uh, How do people reach you? What if people? Twitter. What if people want to hear you? I uh, just get on my Twitter. It's uh, at one Bill G. At the number one Bill G. That's me. And guys, thanks a lot for having me, man. No problem well, at all, for, man. Thanks for coming on. Be safe on the rest of your flight. We'll we'll see you when you're in town. Okay, man. All right, Willie. That's Bill Bye. G. We just heard from Billy G. Make Next sure. time he comes, we'll have him do some jokes. <laughs> Yeah. Next time, next time he comes, we'll ask him if he could be funny. <laughs> that's just mean. That is mean. You'll hang up on no, the dude and then dog I him know. out. Yeah. After he's come gone. on, man. That's not even fun. <laughs> I feel like Where's I feel like we're trolling that muffin right now. Where's the fun in that? Well, we might have to remind people how to get a hold of us. Oh, I'm gonna do that. All right. There's a website involved. What? That's point nineteen productions dot com. You can always email the show at point nineteen productions at gmail. Dot com, reach out on Twitter, B Team One Nine, or YouTube, which you can like and subscribe the Point Nineteen Productions channel, uh, where you will see where well, you'll get not only any video content that we happen to put out, but you'll also get every episode mm-hmm. um, if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, not only that, but Stitcher, uh, iTunes, SoundCloud, uh, other platforms that if you're just on the go, are fine options to listen to these wonderful. And enchanting shows. They are. God, that was good. That's two weeks, and and that was flawless. Man. Flawless. When you talk about a level of professionalism (laughs) that that I'm bringing to the table here, it's unreal, I think. Well, put your pants on because it is time to head out. And all I ask you to do is love somebody. Mm -hmm.